football was 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 my third love probably. It was baseball, you know, then basketball. Then we had to hide the football from grandma. She really she really couldn't know about the you know, the pads and because it was just too physical. It was too much for her heart. But putting on those pads for the first time and 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 being like, hey, this I I could get tackled and and, and get up. Like this isn't as bad as I thought. But it became like something I had to do. Like I had to compete, man. I had to, you know, I had to line up in front of a person and be better than them. Like football gave me that chance. I had a coach in high school, <clears throat> uh, Lloyd Davine. He, he would never, never abandon his word. If he was going to be there at 7.30, I, I, you know, grandma had me up with the breakfast at 6.30, uh, just waiting for him, you know, couldn't be couldn't be late. But he, you know, dropped me off, picked me up, even kicked me out, out the car a couple times. But he was definitely responsible for, uh, for me being where I had to be. It was definitely something that, that helped uh, help build me to the athlete and person I am. Back in the day, you I would I would play games where you know kids from Staten Island who who you know they would call me nigga like in the middle of a game, and then after the game, those that same kid's parents would be like, yeah, "I'll see you in the NFL one day." There's a lot of distractions going on in New York City. You know, girls, drugs, alcohol. Um, you know, freaking, there's, you, you name it, and, and you could find it in New York. I had a brother who was shot in, uh, in the head, and um, really the most disappointing, shocking, scary phone call I ever got. I had just landed in D.C. Um, I was going to visit a friend, and then shortly after that to New York, got that phone call that my brother, you know, had been in this accident and uh, just made me just really, really, man, was was a put things in perspective for me and, and made me uh, made me realize that, that you can't take anything for granted and that uh, you know uh, this probably somebody you know God forbid this somebody gonna get shot tonight you know they're not they're not gonna make a newspaper or, or, or anything like that but people are dying like that every day people are getting you know hurt every day but. Another blessing was, you know, he's still here, and just the fact that I can talk to him, I can call him, I can go see him, um, makes me know that I got people depending on me. It's tough out here in this world.